Los Angeles Comic Con was a blast, and this is the finale, the end of the trilogy in terms of our halls. And hall number three is pretty epic, considering that we got an added signature bonus that wasn't even supposed to happen. What is up, pop community? I'm the Patrick. This is... Carissa. And this is the end of Los Angeles Comic Con. And we're also Tomorrow Comes Movies. Chris is like, what are you talking about? Yeah, we're Tomorrow Comes Movies. But yeah, this is the end of Los Angeles Comic Con. Thank you guys so much for letting us come out. Halls for LA Comic Con. Well, it's also the end. the end of LA Comic Con. Well, it is for this year. Because, yeah, there you <laughs> go. this is the end of our halls for LA yes. Comic Con. But I'm yes, like, this I think is they the knew. end for LA Comic Con. <laughs> this is the end for, like, what? Because we're done, right? No, but yeah, this is the end of the hall. Now, we do have some footage, so let's take a look at that. So what's going on everyone? This is the Patrick Ann's. And it wants to just track only her face, but we're here at LA Comic Con and we're gonna find out what's going on. And we're gonna try to get a corruptive venom for a good friend. Hot shadow. So let's take a look. the chalice booth. I see Odd Shadow. <laughs> we have something for you. You're welcome. Why do you feel bad? We wanted to help you. Oh my god, it's so exciting.
highly recommend that you check out LA Comic Con because there's a lot of vendors. I mean, there's something for everybody, but it is just full of potential things that you could buy, whether you're a comics fan, art fan, Funko fan, and also you can meet tons of guests as well, right? Get autographs. You know, we met somebody in our last hall, which you can see there. He's not even supposed to be there, apparently. So let's kick off the hall, Chris. So now let's, what are we starting with? Like, what's, what are we starting with here? So I'm still tongue tied. You are. Let, let me take over for we you. We got there extra early mm -hmm. because we got three extra corrupted venoms glow in the dark. That's right. But we don't have any of them with us because one was for our good friend Odd Shadow. Yeah. We surprised her. She was working at the Chalice. She did not get a chance to get in line. Shout out um, to Chalice, too. They, they sold out. Yeah, Chalice is awesome. And then we got two more. For Pop Drug. Yes. Also fellow members. And uh, um, I will plug in both of their channels, but I'll put Odd Shadow's video up as well yes. of her haul as well. So yeah, we wanted to help them out. It's just kind of a bummer because I don't know if anybody else in the group or just other people we network with that are in the community. We couldn't get everybody those corrupted Saturday, venoms. we had no chance. No yeah, chance Saturday at all. Saturday was... No. Yeah, and we had the mic academia season premiere so i was done ask chris on saturday i felt saturday it. uh we didn't stay as long it was really really crowded mm -hmm. to the point where like people were bumping into our stuff um oh, so we kind of just went we bought some pops we got some signatures and then we were out of there we we're rushing home for that my hero season premiere yeah exactly so <laughs> let's start off with uh, the rest so, of our haul the first pop that i picked up after the whole la um hot topic booth is we're just walking around Ooh, yeah that's right that's right and i caught this booth and, i don't remember and the booth name sadly they were not with the rest of the toys and collectibles they no. were off in the comics area. And that's what we're looking for. Yes. That's what we're looking yes. for. Because they put all the toys and collectors. They split everything in the groups this time and put all the same uh, vendors with the similar items in that together. So this yeah. one, um, this one was kind of close to the to the artist alley because they were selling stickers and stuff. Um, and I just saw this pop. And they only had a couple pops there. But I was able to pick up this aerial pop. Wow, right? Which I really am good. collecting. Oh, are you? I want to collect all the little mermaids that are I possibly can. Expensive. This one is not. No, 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 How no. How much did no. you get this one? Do you remember? Uh, I think it was 10 bucks. 10 bucks. So this is part of Series 7. This is mm -hmm. older Funko, actually. It is. Wow. 2015. So there's Ariel from Little Mermaid. If you look on the back, this is Series 7. All that's in there is uh, Ariel as a mermaid and Ursula. Mm -hmm. And this is like the old school molds. And if you look on here, I mean, you can see the old Funko logo and all that as well. But... <laughs> Huge, huge, huge Little Mermaid fan. I'm a big Disney lover. But I decided recently um, I want to try to collect all the Little Mermaids. I know the one that's going to be hard is I think it's a, it's a two pack that was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive with Ariel and Ursula. But that one can wait until oh, I save up money. It's a really cool pop. I'll hand that back yes, to you because you, I have you. no word. So to put I'm these. really excited to be able to get that one. Now from that same booth, Patrick right. was able to get another Freddy Funko. I love Freddy Funko. So this he one I've never was seen before. able to pick up Freddy Funko. This is a Funko Shop exclusive, Ooh. and Freddy is just wearing his football attire. Yeah. Looks like. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. The, Do you want to show the? the yeah, football? I want to show you guys right. So here it is, Freddy Funko. This is a Funko Shop exclusive of him, just in a Funko. If Funko had their own team, you know, he's in the helmet. Now I believe we have one that was from the Funko Shop as well, where he's wearing um, CL Seahawks colors as yes. a twelfth man. You can the see retro that one right there. Colors. Now I know you can take the helmet off on this one. This one I'm not going to attempt to do it as, but um, I might unbox it. If you do, you'll see it right now. Yeah, I decided to just take it out because, you know, Chris really wanted to look at it. I don't think I'll touch the helmet, but I'm a huge Freddy Funko fan. Never heard of this pop, never seen this pop, and I think I got this for like 15 bucks, and it's trending for like 17 so overall I would have paid for it. It's pretty cool. I saw one that I really want. It's Freddy as a pop ride. 
Yeah. We saw that in another booth, and I'm like, when they said $50, I was like, oh, I uh, bought too much. It's no. the last day. I can't. Yeah. Again, back on the Disney thing. Oh, that's right. And I love the Diamond Edition stuff. I just really, I think they're so gorgeous. Yeah, you got an Eeyore, an recently, Eeyore recently at Nerd Expo, which you can see right there. But we've now, gotten a few of them throughout pop, the year. Yeah, I've gotten a few yeah. throughout, the, throughout the time. Um, this pop, I've seen a couple of times, and I passed it up, and I decided, you know what, just Go for it. Just, just buy it. So I was able to get the Dumbo oh. Diamond Edition. Ooh, nice I follow. love elephants and I love Dumbo and I love the uh, live action remake. I mean, CGI baby elephant. You were one of the few. Who really wouldn't love it? Who wouldn't love it? Was so this is what it looks like. All right. And this is an, uh, like the older Funkos because they have like, uh, the old uh, Mary Poppins, yes. not the not the new one. Series five. Series five. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out of box. So we have Dumbo on the Series 5, Alice, Mary Poppins, Jasmine, Russell, and Carl from Up, and then uh, Marida, I don't know if I'm saying that right, from, um, I can't remember. Brave. Brave, there you go. So this is Wave 5. It's a really cool pop. I, you know, I, it's so cute. I, I don't think I've ever seen this one either in the wild. She tried to get me to get a Yoda, and I passed it up because I, I like to keep my options open, especially, losing my voice here, since um, I'm still recovering from that sickness, uh, since, you know, they got a bunch of a pops from a certain anime that I want. You can see Hall number one if you haven't. Definitely check it out because I was hoping I'd find them and I never did. So I will pass that back on to you. Now this pop, uh, I this was basically, I assisted on this. You did assist on this. So one of our favorite voice actors, Carlos Ferro, was at... LA Comic Con, and we were able to again interview with him. Thank you, Carlos. You're so yeah. freaking awesome. Hopefully, it's out. But if not, it'll be coming it'll very be coming soon. But we've done two other interviews that sh maybe will pop up yes, here. Yes, as yes, As recent as May. Yes. yes. And Patrick got his Dom Pop signed in War. May at Comic Con War. Revolution in Ontario. So, to Patrick, I love Carlos so much. I'm not a big video game player. I mean, I like Nintendo, but that's player. about it. Um, but he loves Gears of War, so and I love Great Carlos, franchise. so I decided, hey, can I have your extra Dom Pop? Can I get it signed? I was always going to give it to her anyway, because I know she wanted one signed, and they're vaulted, so they're hard to buy. I just I, realized this I went up to $29 didn't, on I didn't that. know they're vaulted, but I love Carlos, and he's such a nice person. Saved you $29. Thank you so much, Can I Patrick? get that Tanya Eden now? No. So, <laughs> he wrote Carissa... I'm not, yeah. We're I not, can't say it because it, it's, yeah, it's, let's YouTube, just say it's, it's YouTube sup, friendly. B word, yeah. If you know anything about Gears of War, and of course, Carlos wrote it. So, very happy. You know, Carlos is one of the best people we've ever met, one of my favorite uh, voice actors. He's such a great guy, and he's always funny because he's also, he's also a geek like us. Yes. Or a nerd. Is he no, geek he's or nerd? A geek. Geek. Geek, yeah. He, he schools me in that one interview. He said geek a geek and nerds. is someone who likes all these different fandoms. A nerd is someone who, who actually is academically. In <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is $29. And Chris was able to get it with, with this paint pen. It looks fantastic. Oh. And I don't know if you can see mine back there, but it's it's back there as well. So, Chris finally has her own. And I have to get another one for $29. Find, um, I'm currently working on, on another filming area. I just I feel like this is kind of getting a little stale. And so, we have another area. Stale? Wow. Yeah. Thanks. You just basically just destroyed our whole collection. No, we have no, nothing no, but stale no, no. items I just, here. We have so many Funkos. And I feel like this is all you see. We have way more than this. Um, we have like four more and we're bookshelves. we're too lazy to interchange them for you. Um, well, it's kind of... I don't want to interchange no, these. I like mine. I just recently reorganized mine. So when I get done with these LA videos, I'm going to put the rest of my... Um, my Hero Academia Funko Pop sign. But we have another area that I'm working on right now to do some more videos in. Um, but Dom will be going over there. So, next up, we got another interview at LA Comic Con. Yes. Now, I am not, I've never watched any of these. 
Um, I'm not, Shame. I'm not a big fan of it. I, Shame. I might check it out because I really, really love the actress. She was literally a blast. We're talking about Dana DiLorenzo. She is such a firecracker and she's so feisty, but she gave us some great, great advice and her interview with Patrick was hilarious. Yeah, I kept accidentally cutting her off because I never knew when it was going to stop because she's just so animated, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, cause you never know, when you do interviews, you're kind of hoping that you kind of have an idea of when to pull the mic back. And this one I couldn't because she just gave me a lot of, content so we were able to get the ash versus evil dad kelly pop um i'm gonna hand over to patrick so he can kind of give you guys yes. a closer look i love ash versus evil dead it's sad that it got canceled she's brilliant as kelly if i might add one of the bright spots of the show because the show's there's nothing really bad about the show to be honest with you i i love bruce campbell and i love the character pablo but yes i was able to get this pop sign now i got this recently at cali collectibles shout yes. out to them I have a pop on the road coming out which you'll probably see this pop again but before i got it, it had nothing on it so this signature says tomorrow comes movies axe marks the spot and kelly and then dana's name and it looks fantastic in this paint pen. This is a newer paint pen we're trying out. It's a this sharpie one. a sharpie one. one. It's and a it little more off, red. Yeah, it starts off real light and then, and then eventually it darkens. Red, yeah, yeah. gradually gets more red. So, very happy to get this. This is setting me on the path to get all the Evil Dead pop sign. But thank you so much, Dana, for the interview. And thank you for being awesome because it was such a surreal moment to meet Kelly as well. So, very happy about that. So, next up is another surreal moment for Patrick. It is. This is a pop he has been wanting for such a long time. Yes. And this is an actress we met last year at ECCC, C, whatever. There's always um, one more C, right? ECC, <laughs> right? And we only did a photo op with her. We didn't do anything else. Yeah. We weren't really into sign Funkos at that time. Now, I know she was going to be there Sunday, and I went on offer up, and I found the pop. And it has a little bit of damage on the back, but for the price that I got it for, it was pretty affordable. What did I get it for? I think I got it for about... 30, 40 bucks, I think. I got it for 40 bucks, yeah. 40 bucks. And it's went up to 49 as of today. So, yes, I got Charlie from Supernatural played by the amazing Felicia Day. She signed it and she really enjoyed the, um, paint pen. She, she kept called saying, it a juicy She's pen. like, like, cause I don't know why Chris and I weren't talking. She's like, guys, it's juicy. And I'm like, it is, it is. But I'm like, you're just brilliant. That is with our Sharpie yellow yeah. pen. Charlie from Supernatural. I'm a Supernatural fan. I watched all 13 seasons of it in two and a half months. It was a lot of binging, but I really like this. And I'm not going to be taking out any of the autograph no, pops. No, but, um, Once give you they're an idea, in there, they're in there. It's an older Volted pop. You know, it's really hard to find. Just happy to be able to get it. And we took a photo. So any photo we got with autographs, you'll we'll see it at, at the end. end. So very happy about that. I'm so happy he got this. I am. It is a huge bucket list. And I'm sorry if you hear a lot of breathing. I'm having a hard time because I'm all clogged up for my allergies and I sound like Darth Vader in Rogue One right before he tears up the whole rebellion. So I totally forgot to add this into yes. our day one haul. Um, but while we were in the Hot Topic line the first day, mm -hmm. um, we each ended up getting these Chronic Con t-shirts. Hollywood for Jane Son Bob reboot, correct? Yes, yes. Um, and on the, it. on the sheet, it said it was supposed to be black and it ended up being white so they were sold out of the black ones. Um, but after we checked out, I realized that if you bought the shirt, yes. you got a wristband and that Sunday between two and four, you could do a photo op with Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith. Yes. And I like literally freaked out because I love, love, love Kevin Smith. Yes. And I've been dying to meet Jason Mewes. Yeah. And I almost didn't get it because, uh, I, I was old school and paid with cash. So they didn't know how to give me a receipt. They kept thinking it was going to go to my number. Remember that? Yeah. I was freaking out. Now they said no autographs. This, they is, said strictly this is strictly a photo. photo op. So I said, Chris, I'm going to bring our Kevin Pops regardless because two years ago, what got us in the Funkos were the Moon Knights and the Kevins and the Kevins. So I said, let's bring them. I'm not going to try to get signed. I just want to hold it with them. And as we got in line, if I'm correct, we saw Kevin. We saw Kevin walk up. But we never saw Jason Mewes. No, and then the closer we got, there was no Jason Mewes, but there was just Kevin. But then I noticed people were getting their stuff signed. And they're having, you know, they're hugging it out. And and so I had a pink pen in my back pocket just in case. You never know. <laughs> we just said, we're not going to get signed, but if he does, just be prepared so you have to. I told him we're not getting any quotes. We're not going to get our like, names. I'm not bringing mine. He's not going to sign. So I brought an extra one. I didn't tell her. So she's lucky I did this for her. Whatever. I figured you know so, the Dom Pop, right? I mean, wh what's, where's the love? Black Eyed Peas, man. I bought you that Charlie Pop, so I don't want to hear it. Let's do that. 
<laughs> Never mind. Rescinds that. Let's go. We went like at nine o'clock at night to meet the oh, yeah. man off. Yeah, they were so, they were a little freaked out. And I was starving. I was so, like, either meet us at tonight seven in the morning. Seven in the morning. And the person was like, hell no. So let's go. Here we go. So we were able to get our Kevin, Kevin Smith, Smith Batman on Batman. LA Comic Con 2017 exclusive pop signed by Kevin Smith. Yes, we got to hug with him. He hugs us. We did so many epic poses where he looks in your face. Chris did a way better pose than I did, but Kevin's so awesome. Yeah, really in my face. Yeah. I, I have a personal bubble. Yeah, and we had these lanyards, which uh, I don't I have, don't but the there's moments. a video coming out that's revolving around a certain pops from his uh, world that you'll see that we wear them, but... um. Very happy to get this. This is a big moment for us. The reason why we podcast. amazing. Well, specifically for myself, I started podcasting because of Kevin Smith. I'm a huge fan of him and I listen to all his podcasts. So this is kind of like a surreal moment. Even though we met him two years ago at one of his shows, Hollywood Babylon, right after 2017's LA Comic Con. Yeah. And I surprised Carissa by emailing Ralph Garman, his co-host, and I donated to Kevin's charity. Uh, like, I don't remember how much I donated. And I just said, if, if I could get a photo, I'd be happy. If not, just happy to support Kevin. And they brought us up on stage. You might be able to see it, or you might be able to hear that episode. I, I have it. Um, I'm a bubbling idiot. Yes. I, yeah, I just... I. Got the photo with all, with all four of us, and I just walk off. I don't have nothing else to say. I'm like, I met Kevin, met Ralph, I'm good. So this time, a lot more <laughs> with the composure, and we, you told him that we're supporting him with Jane Song, uh, reboot, excuse me, which we thought was awesome. We're gonna be reviewing it on our podcast, definitely check it out, but that is a surreal moment, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and Chris, uh, as soon as and we I got only home. I paid 20 bucks for the shirt. Yeah, so 40 bucks to meet Kevin Smith and hug <sighs> him. And the funny thing is, when I got home, Kevin, uh, Kevin, not Kevin, Kevin wasn't there, but Chris went over and grabbed her pop and goes, here I owe you. <laughs> yes, yes. As soon as we got home, I went through, cause, um, I was in the process of reorganizing my pops. Um, so I was digging through my thing and I go, here, this is my pop. Here you go. We're well, even. We're Put in square. a better pop protector and all that. So, surrealness, Kevin Smith. Okay, so last but not least, we had to head over to one of our favorite creators. Yeah, we've this interviewed him too. This guy is a freaking genius, genius man. Uh, we did an interview with him at Power Morphicon, Morphicon last August. August and then we did an interview with him again last year at LA Comic Con. And if anyone has seen our growth, it, it is, is this man. It is a lot of the guests, actually. Like, Carlos, too. Carlos, yeah. too. But, but, but Micus has seen us grow. Yeah. We interviewed him first on my phone with a shotgun mic um, to this little lapel mic. So, finally, he saw us with our full getup, our DSLR camera, our wireless thing. So and we that, saw his growth, too. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, we did an interview with him again. It's a tradition. Whenever Mike is at a convention they're at, we want to interview him because he makes such great Things. If you think that you know somebody who who takes a pop and adds a little bit to it, no, Mike no. is he really really he recreates something. the pop. Yeah, you know, in his mind, he sees a pop. He sees what he could possibly do to alter it to make it something even better. I just look and go, I want it. So we're at his at his booth, and Krista, you peruse around. There was yeah. one pop I really wanted, but um, I, I had had to budget up. Pop of the interview, you can see that pop there. Yeah, oh, I know. But it is a John Wick custom where he actually replaced the eyes with real bullet shells. Yes, isn't that crazy? And so I told Patrick, okay, we saw it that Friday. If it's I'll there, I'll come back. If it's there, it's it was be. meant to be. If it's not there, it was meant to be. Saturday was too hectic for us. Happy so, to hear that somebody else got it. Someone else got it. I'm a little bummed, but I'm happy. I'm, that. Yes, it's a bittersweet moment. I'm excited someone else bought his amazing work. I'm sad I know Patrick really, really wanted it, but we got something else that we wanted in return. We were kind of perusing. Okay, if we can't get this, we're going to get this. So, um, actually, let's switch really fast. Okay. Thank you, because this is yours. Okay. <laughs> this is this is. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. I'm over here. Okay. All right, so, so why don't you unveil yours I'm going to go first. mine first. So we were able to get, or I was able to get the Joker. Limited this, edition. Limited edition. This is his Popsicle edition of the Joker. And yeah, I thought Patrick wanted this one. Yes. Because he loves the Joker. I love the Joker. I love purple. But surprisingly, he didn't choose this one. And I was like, oh, what? Yeah, I know. You want me to show off the one I got? Yes. Okay, I don't know. I got a Eeyore actually in the same in purple as well in the form of an ice cream where they bite into it and this is this is one of the epic creations that Micus does so I'll go first real quick here. and we want we had him sign the pot for us yes yeah, so he did sign it because you know you have to we have so many signed pops I'm like why am I not letting Micus sign one of these pops so these will be popped up and spinned a little bit I will switch you so I can get a better look at your pop because this Chris's pop is pretty cool too Joker ice cream right I mean look at that so that's what it originally looked like. And now 
This is what it looks like. So let's spin both of them, right? Before I oh, spin them. Okay. This is the one that I got last year from him. This Captain America before the like. Oh, that's right. Um, what's that style called? Oh, Paternas. Yeah, before that became big, I got that at uh, last year's LA Comic Con from Micus. Um, and his shield is a Louis Vuitton out yes. of a bag. Now, we'll be spinning this one as well. And it's actually, the first pop we got from Micus was when we were at Power Morphicon. I had a really bad experience with an interview that didn't go well with somebody who I'm not mentioning, but it was a very bad experience with them. And I saw Micus' thing, and he's like, you know, we're talking like, this is cool. And he's like, you know, here, just take one for free. It is a Harley Quinn ice cream one, which I don't have it on me right now. Well, we'll go ahead and spin all we'll of them right, right now. Yeah. So here we go. Con hauls. What he write on yours? Um, with mine, he wrote. <laughs> I can't do a joke or Love laugh. Micah. Love Micus, and then Comic-Con. he wrote LACC 2019. I got. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you, Micus. But you truly are the best. You're a genius. But yeah, this is it for our haul. Uh, thank you, Micus, for this. This is really cool, and I'm so glad to add your art to our collection because this is Funko art. This is he art. Tell me, I bought. I bought art. Get yeah, it, you bought art. It. Yeah, isn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Definitely drop a comment below. What do you guys think of these amazing creations here and some of the other things we got? Like that Kevin Smith pop, which I could not believe got signed. Are you yawning behind us? We can see you. <laughs> it's late night, but we can see you. No one just does this like out of nowhere. Uh, definitely drop a comment below. We really appreciate it. So definitely like this, share our video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification to save the day when we drop new videos. If you're in the podcast, we do one. It is unfiltered, but it's available on every platform, including YouTube. If you like interviews and con coverage, we do both. And a big part of our con coverage is showcasing, obviously, Mike's uh, creations, but also Funko Pops, Pop Punts, Mystery Boxes, and getting them signed. So definitely check it out. So have a good night, have a good pop, and Mike's, you rock.